If you've ever been in a relationship and you're happy, but then somebody comes along and he's so cute and you start to think of him a little bit more than you should, be honest with yourself, you might have a cheating problem. But don't worry, there is hope. Stick around, you're gonna wanna watch this. Cheating. It's a touchy subject, and nobody really wants to admit that they're a cheater. But let's admit it, it is a part of our human nature to have these tendencies. However, just because we have the instinct does not mean that we should indulge it. There are three types of cheating that I want to talk about today. The first is cheating on your partner. Secondly, cheating on yourself. And then third, cheating on your spiritual path. So let's talk about the first one, cheating on your partner. Being cheated on or being the cheater, neither is a great place to be. Being cheated on feels awful. Being a cheater feels even worse. So there is a way to stop yourself if you feel like you're going to want to cheat on your partner. And sometimes you can't help it. You know, somebody enters your life, even though you're happy in a relationship, somebody enters your life and they're so wonderful and they're so lovely that you start to have feelings towards them. It may be physical attraction, it may be emotions. You might even start to fall in love with them. And that's genuine, it's true. But at the same time, you're already in a relationship, you're already committed. And if you want to honor that commitment, then it is so possible to prevent yourself from cheating. And the best way to do that, the best way to prevent yourself from cheating if you're in a relationship is distance. Start to use distance as a tool to stop yourself from cheating. Start creating distance between that cute guy or that girl that you're starting to crush over or that you're starting to be attracted to or that you're starting to fall in love with. It happens to the best of us. But distance is so important. And how do you create this distance? Start by, you know, stop tweeting at them. Start, stop texting them. Stop responding to, to their instant messages. Stop liking their stuff on Facebook. Stop checking out, you know, their social media profile or whatever it is whatever those unspoken but spoken in a different way signals that you're sending to each other that you're on each other's you know mind that you're on each other's thoughts stop them stop them as much as you possibly can and start to distance yourself this is so so crucial it's the only thing that's going to stop you from making the mistake of cheating intentionally or accidentally and um, you know the other person that guy or girl they're probably feeling it too in fact they're probably encouraging you because they want you as well they're attracted to you or maybe they're falling in love with you and they're not going to stop just because you stop liking their stuff on Facebook or just because you stop uh, replying to their instant messages does not mean they're going to stop. They're going to keep doing that and they're probably going to be hurt and confused that you're not reciprocating. It doesn't matter. Stop anyway. Ignore their advances. Ignore those tiny signals that they're sending and create distance. Distance is your only friend here if you want to stop yourself from cheating on your in your relationship. The second type of cheating I want to talk about is cheating on yourself. And you might be thinking, huh, how can you even cheat on yourself? But it is so possible. So think of those moments when you're overthinking, when your mind is just going on and on and it won't shut up. And your mind creates problems or creates a whole world of problems and issues that it, you know, tries to make you, tries to suck you into. Maybe it's some person that's being annoying or bitchy at work. Or maybe it's somebody like in your friend circle some drama is going on and you're getting pulled into that or maybe it's in your family whatever it is or maybe it's some big project or whatever that you're dreaming up in your head and by doing that you're cheating on yourself in a way because you're neglecting yourself you're forgetting to take care of yourself you're forgetting to give yourself the basic things that you need like sleep like good food like exercise like 
a time out, for example, I don't know, for me it's meditation. And it happens to me too. So there are times when I'll get super inspired and I'll feel like, okay, I've got a project. It could be related to work. It could be related to, you know, a creative project, whatever. And I just get into the zone and I want to write it all down. I want to plan and this and that. And then the next thing I know, I've created a whole world in my head. And what's happened is I've ignored my sleep and I've ignored the one thing that's the most important thing in my everyday, which is my meditation practice. And by doing that, I'm cheating on myself because what I really truly need, that I know I need, is that time to myself. I know I need to meditate because I love it. I genuinely enjoy it. So how would you prevent yourself from cheating on yourself? The answer is dedication and love. Dedicate that self-care. Dedicate something you do for yourself, but instead of giving it to yourself, dedicating it to yourself, dedicate it to somebody else or something else outside of you. So I'll use the example of being in a relationship here. Let's say you have a boyfriend and um, you have a great relationship, but then the last couple of days you've been so sucked into some drama at work or some big project that you're thinking up in your head. Maybe it is actually very important, but you're just getting carried away. You're getting sucked into it. And what happens as a result is you started neglecting yourself. You started cheating on yourself. Uh, with that thing, with that external thing. So a, sim sim a signal of that would be maybe you stop taking care of your hair, you stop taking care of your skin, you stop sleeping, you stop exercising. And as a result, you're grumpy, you're irritable, and you're just not pleasant to be around. Now, if you dedicate a little bit of self-care to your partner, to the one that you want to make happy, then you will find that it's easier for you to stop cheating on yourself and to take care of yourself so let's say you give yourself a time out you're like no i don't care about that big project or that bitchy person at work or my family drama whatever it is i am going to go to the gym or i am going to go to the salon i am going to get my hair done i am going to get my nails done i don't care this is something i need to do for myself Great, now you go do that. You go to your favorite exercise class, fitness class. You go to the salon, you get a blowout. You go get your nails done and you come back home. You feel fresh, you feel good and you're glowing from inside out. And suddenly you're so much more pleasant to be around. Suddenly your mood is so uplifted that you wanna do something nice with your partner. You wanna go out for dinner. You wanna look good and you wanna make him feel good and so on. So by not cheating on yourself by not not cheating yourself out of having a balance or having a good life or having you know a little self-care in your life you're actually um, denying something great something good for the greater relationship so the best way to stop cheating on yourself is through self-care and devotion as dedication dedicate that self-care to somebody else or to something bigger that's outside of you Finally, the third thing I want to talk about is cheating on your spiritual path. Now, if you have tendencies where you get distracted or you get pulled into something else outside in other areas of your life, like your relationship, your work, yourself, then of course it's so natural for these tendencies to also affect you on your spiritual path. And you may get distracted by some new technique that came out or some hot new you know, speaker that everyone else is talking about or some new teacher or whatever it is. But it's very important to stay, to stick to your spiritual path. And the one way that I would recommend for you to help, to help yourself to stop cheating on your spiritual path is trust and trusting in your own unique experiences. Trust that whatever you felt on your spiritual path, on that specific path that led you to have a specific experience. And not only that, what think about how that experience um, nurtured or triggered or encouraged or, or um, had a change in you. How that experience changed you really to the core where you're a different person now for the better and trust, trust in that experience. Trust that what you felt in your heart 
is real. And no matter what anyone else says or tries to convince you out of, you know best what you experienced. That person, even if it's your best friend, even if they have the best intentions, they don't know what you've experienced. They haven't experienced what you've experienced. So how can they possibly know what you need and what you get out of this? What you get out of being on your specific spiritual path? Let nobody talk you out of something that you know in your heart is real. Let nobody tell you it's not real when you know it is. And don't get distracted by that bright shiny object that comes along, by that hot new guy that comes along. Keep your distance. Maintain that distance. Stop. Don't respond to those, you know, secret messages or whatever. Even on this path, it's, it's the same concept. And go back to self-care. Go back to trusting your feelings and taking care of yourself because the more that you're taken care of, the more capable you are to serve on your spiritual path, to serve your spiritual purpose, to serve any relationship in your life, to serve others outside of you, you know, to serve things that are bigger than you. Look, cheating is it's normal it is a part of life it's a part of human nature but it doesn't mean you have to indulge that really and i know that no matter what it is what you have on the outside underneath it all you're pure you're a good person and you're pure and there is no need to to fall into that cheating if you don't want to if a part of you wishes that you didn't try these tools use these tools and try your best so that you stay loyal you stay faithful because the feelings you get from loyalty and faithfulness and the strength that you build from that is so much better so much better than the momentary high or excitement that you'll get from cheating it is totally doable. You can do it. You can stop cheating. And I totally, 100% believe in you. And hey, don't cheat on me now and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thank you. I love you. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Just remember, I'll be with you.